Welcome to GMFB Casting. We have a wonderful project as usual. Just pretend you're in some dingy little office in the valley, and I'm going to say that casting is my passion. It's not because I'm a failed actor. I really wanted to do this. I haven't worked since I had a one-line co-star in The Mentalist 10 years ago, but this is what I want to be doing. I have a vision for this project, okay? We are casting a movie called Super Bowl 51. We're very proud to say we've gotten Guillermo del Toro Ooh. to direct it. He's an artist. Have you ever seen Pan's Labyrinth? Hello. Really good. Incredible. So we're going to take that. Na he's a natural choice to do a football movie. What we need to do is cast. That's okay. what I'm here to do. That's my passion. All of you are representing different clients, as I understand, and you'd like to sell them for these different roles. I do need oh, to we're tell the you. Agents. Yes, you're the agents. Yes, you're the Ari Golds. Uh, the role of Arthur Blank has already been taken by uh, Dick Tracy, era Al Pacino. Uh, Michael Day Luis from Encino Man will be playing Gronk. Tyrese Gibson will be playing Julio Jones, and we are thrilled to announce that Robert Kraft will be played by Mr. William Shatner. Mm -hmm. So we are casting. We, this is gravy. But I ask you people, please, my time is precious. Tom Brady, our leading man, we need someone between 25 and 45, okay. handsome, cleft chin as a bonus. Who do you present today to play Tom Brady in this movie? What do you got? You going with me right out the gate? Yeah, K, 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 K we okay, say you we'll first. That's, that's where we're at. Oh, I, 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 I mean, I represent Tom Brady. Oh, you do? You wow, that must work. be nice. Uh, in the mattress commercials, or <laughs> Ted Tom Two, Tom. an excellent himself. cameo where he plays himself in Ted Two. Right. He's got the experience, he's got the look. Uh, he's a star, obviously. Plays he's in a great MRI commercial. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's confident. He can really handle good. it. Tom Brady like should it. play Tom Brady. I'm no intrigued. contest. It's like Howard Stern played Howard Stern in private parts. I mm -hmm. should tell you, and this is always fun when you do this in casting, we do have an offer out already, but I'll waste your time and get you, take your offer. Got it. Alexander <laughs> Skarsgård, about six foot nine. He's Swedish. He's ripped. He was Tarzan. Looks like Brady's handsome. He's done the Hollywood dating Ooh, I don't scene. Hate this. We're very fired up about Mr. Isn't Skarsgård. That, how tall is he? He's seven foot five. He's, he's incredible. <laughs> he may have to shrink yeah, him for but Brady. But that's a Fugazi Tom it Brady. Is a Fugazi I'm giving Brady. you the real Tom Brady. It's a great pitch, you right, Call me. Mr. Burleson, who do you have? My time is precious. I'm going with Ben Affleck. Okay. Uh, you know, if he can play Batman, then he can play mm. Brady. Ah. And you want to talk about that chin. You talk about having that cleft in there, the, the strong chin. I mean, I haven't seen chins like that since Johnny Bravo and, and Kyle Brandt. So, like, <laughs> it's a nice, square, strong chin. And he's a Boston guy. Like, yes. I think it all makes sense. Okay, okay. Z. Mr. Schrager, you're uh, sitting there very dubious at our submission. Oh, I think if you're going to cast Tom Brady, you need a heartthrob, you need an incredible athlete, you need charisma, and you need magic on screen. I go with 2000's Kyle Brandt. Oh, look hey, at that. This is Kyle Brandt from 2003 when he was an actor. He was on Young and the Restless, ladies and gentlemen. And How dare this you. is a photo of him on a red carpet, buttons excluded. Kyle, all I'm thinking about there, all I care about is who's in my top yeah. eight on MySpace. Yeah. That's precious <laughs> real estate. Tom. All I care about. Kay's on the phone with Tom, Tom Brady. Is he angry We're already? It. Are you in? Are you we in? have to move on now. Give me Giselle. Giselle, get we'll Giselle get to Giselle. Giselle. Well, Giselle is, is our bell of the ball, of course. Dan Quinn, the coach of the. <laughs> <laughs> the coach of the let's keep it professional. It's a okay, casting office. Dan what is Quinn, happening? Uh, he is obviously we're looking for someone who must be willing to shave their head. We're not going to do a bald cap. Peter Schrager, who would you like to play Coach Quinn? You've met the man. I want pensive. I want smart. I want talented. I look at the Devil Wears Prada film. Oh, I love him I, in I that movie. The, and I'm going with Stanley Tucci. I think Stanley Tucci would make a great Dan Quinn. We'll beef him up a little bit. We'll get a little military training going uh -huh, for Tucci. Uh -huh. But I love Stanley Tucci's work. He's great in the, in the, in the, in the Great White Way. He's yes, in the a lovely guy. bones. I thought he was very Fantastic. creepy and well so, done. Yeah. Stanley Tucci. Kay, uh, you came strong with the Brady submission. Who do you like to play Mr. Quinn? I want a bald Tom Hardy. Oh, wow. I don't know if Mr. Hardy's available. They look the same. I think they've got the same passion. There you go. Some grit, uh, aggressiveness. I think he would do a great job. The English actor, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy is Revenant. possibly my favorite actor. He's Bane. He, he's played in a mm -hmm. UFC movie. He's a great submission. Legend. Yes, he's very we, versatile. He is a legend. I think legend. he would You're nail right. this. Very versatile. Speaking of versatility, I should tell you we have an offer out already. We have an offer out to uh, taking the film in a different direction. Okay. We have offered the part to Lin Manuel Miranda. Oh. And yes, we're going to do a musical. He's going to shave his head. He auditioned. Guys, he came in and just started rapping in the audition. It was incredible. I actually remember some of you'd like to hear. He came in as Dan Quinn. He said, I came from Seattle, got me ready for the battle. The Pates are treating us like a foolio. We're going to hit him with some Julio. We're going to win the game today for the ATLANTA. And we just loved him. He was an incredible. That was it. Wow. That was it. He, we he said, won the room. He won the room, I mean, and we may have to do it. Why are you wasting our time then? I got things to do. I got meetings. Well, you know, it's the fake thing. I have the Range Rover route front. It's the LA thing. I'm just going to pretend I'm interested in your right. client. Nate, who do you have? I have I'm a meeting at Catch LA in like 30 minutes. <laughs> Jason Statham. You, okay. You get, talk about a guy that has a little bit of seriousness, an edge to him. Yes. You know, and he can he can trim down that goatee. Jason's a little bit more furry, but then he go completely bald up top. Right. 
I mean, we're going with Jason. Can Stanton. he handle tragedy though? Because it's lost. You need that's a dramatic role. Yes. Quinn's got to stand up at the podium. Can, I know he's an action that's star. That's great. Can yeah, he handle that denouement? In, in most of his movies, he's very stoic. Even though he's an action star, I'm going with Jason Statham. Jason Statham, like a, a very good-looking Michael Davies, right? There that's the guy. All right, our next role, <laughs> Matt Patricia. It is a plucky comic relief. He is a bearded man. He is a penciled man. Peter Schrager, who would you like to play Coach Patricia? I think Coach Patricia is played by uh, thespian Seth Rogen. Oh. I think, I think, <laughs> <laughs> right. He'll laugh a lot, right? I think Rogen, I saw him play a serious role in the Jobs film. Oh, and he's, yeah. And he's fantastic. And is that, that the Ashton Kutcher one or the Fast no, no, one? No, no, the good one. Okay, um, good. I got and, you. and I think this is <laughs> the kind of role where Rogen can kind of play a dramatic role, defensive coordinator, and at the end, he is where... Little comic relief? Little comic relief. He's got the pencil in his little ear. Pineapple I'm, Express? Little, oh, Seth yeah. Rogen. Classic yeah. movie. All right. Okay. Who also a Canadian, play? by the way. They don't have an image of mine. I don't know if America knows it. Who is who is your submission? We're and we're intrigued. I can't believe we know my, if you say the name, we, we would know that. My name. agency is really really <laughs> letting you down. Must not be the CAA. Uh, Bluto from Popeye. Oh, oh yes. yeah, that is. Of course, we know that is. Look at that. That's incredible. I remember that. him. Please Bluto. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Zoom in. Bluto from Popeye, right here. Bluto, Bluto is. Mm, I'm gonna keep it here until we zoom in. <laughs> yep, that's right. I've never had he's an the, animated he's character submitted. He's the arch nemesis of Popeye. You're right. He has a strong beard. He's going after olive oil. I remember Popeye. The Robin Williams version. Oh yeah. Why can't we show Bluto? We should. I am. What I am. I don't know. Bluto is a fantastic submission, though. Mine is a little offbeat. It's, it's, it's a great thespian who's been in a lot of movies and has that look. Joaquin Phoenix is currently a binge eating. Um, wow, everything that's get a his great shot. It's pretty this good, is, isn't this it? Is, this is good. We wanted to offer it to the guy who plays Sala in the Indiana Jones movies, but he was unavailable. So we <laughs> went with Mr. Phoenix, a uh, brother of the late River Phoenix, of course, and a great actor. What do you mean you went right. with him? Like you already booked him? Like I'm here, I'm here firing people because I can't get a, a full headshot of Bluto? Yeah, I mean, that's the great secret All of this right. casting calls. Everyone's already decided. That's yeah. why the casting couch exists to try to make special deals <laughs> back to it, but that's not this show. Peter uh, and I have a spin class at 1030. You got? I'm going with uh, an actor with for this. great range and a little bit of comedic relief. I think okay. one of our favorites, uh, Zach Gallif Galifianakis. Galifianakis! Oh. I mean, that right not there, bad. come on now. Better that's have good. a big budget. And, yeah, he, he makes he, paper. He makes paper, <laughs> but he is hilarious. He does have range. Me too. He does have range. He does have range. All right, guys, let's do some ladies here. We have some. We have two leading ladies, really. Lady Gaga, she is the entertainer. She's the wild card. You could draw from any number of people to play this role. Peter Schrager, I'm going to start with you. Who will play the Gaga? I like a young, um, up-and-coming star who can really represent, uh, you know, everything that Lady Gaga. Brie Larson. Oh, I love Brie, Brie Larson. Larson. I think Brie Larson's fantastic. The I saw Room. The, the Room was fantastic. You nailed it. I thought the 21 Jump Street film. She plays great in that. In those movies, I believe she's in those with. Yeah, she with, is. With, with, with those guys. Uh, Brie Larson, young, up-and-coming actress, and Lady Gaga represents everything great. I think Brie Larson can be that. Role. Okay, Brie Larson's a great one. Kay Adams, not who a bad you have for us today. I sort of liked Gwen Stefani. Stefani mm. in this role, mm. I thought about going that she had way. the chops? But I ended up going with Lana Del Rey, just because she's a little bit more alluring okay. and mysterious. She's a musician in her own right. She's from <laughs> New York, so is Gaga. Gaga. It made sense to me. <laughs> she's from New York. She All is. Right. She this is, uh, this is a tightly con contested category here. Um, I like to go outside the box. It's where I got where I, I got where I am. And Mr. Del Toro is open to all casting choices. I believe we're going to be handing out an Oscar to... <laughs> So, Sasha Baron Cohen for playing Lady Gaga. <laughs> he goes uh, in drag. He's capable of anything. We've seen him do Borat and Bruno and the French driver in the in NASCAR movie. Yakshima. Yakshima, Jinkui. And I think he could do just a mean, mean version of Bad Romance. I would like Sasha Baron Cohen to win the Oscar as Lady Gaga. In a Gaga. comedic role? Uh, he can do drama too. He was almost going to play Freddie Mercury. They I can know. never get it off the ground. Instead, he's going to go Gaga, who based her name Gaga off of a Queen song. All comes together. Nate, who do you got for Lady Gaga? You're so ridiculous. You almost didn't get that out. I couldn't. I, mean, I have actually to break character for one second. Uh, I'm going with Scarlett Johansson. Scar uh, Jo? Scar Jo. That, that's a very intriguing woman. She kind of captivates the audience. Mm. Uh, all the women, they, they love her. All the guys want to be she with her. She has presence. Uh -huh. She has presence and she plays very like dynamic action movies, she which does. means she can move and dance and shake a little bit. She so could I'm do that halftime show. Okay, okay, good point. You got to jump off the stairs and take the catch. I did not consider that. Okay, well, guys. I don't know that Sasha Baron. She Barron also sings. I don't know either. Scarjo has, has Scar a Scar Scar sultry sings. voice. Yeah. Yes. Um, last role, guys. Mrs. Brady, <laughs> Giselle <laughs> Bunchen. Uh, we saw her up in the, in the booth. I've uh, been very excited. This is a big, big, big role. Giselle Bunchen's done some acting herself, but Peter, who would you have play her in this role? 
I'm going with Carrie Russell, Felicity. Oh, uh, really? I just think she's a fantastic actress. <laughs> I th not the Americans, uh, Felicity. Not the Americans, not the FX hit that wins every award. I'm going with the right. 1990s uh, WB show, Felicity. I, I loved it. Yes. She worked at Dean and DeLuca. Right. right. That's it. That was it. She Remember when she cut her hair? That was a good idea. Oh, that was a big... <laughs> <laughs> that was... It's a couple years back. <laughs> she is a Brooklyn native. I see her around. She's in the neighborhood. I right. see her around. And if she could play Giselle... Yeah, in the neighborhood. Did she see her at that same deli uh, bakery with, with Jason yeah, Gay? Yeah, yeah Mazzola. Right. Her comeback after cutting her hair was greater than the pants being down 25 yes, I think it was. It really was. I thought it was over. I thought it was a wrap. Curtains. Okay, who do you got to play Giselle? Who did I take? You know what? Giselle, I feel like sometimes is misunderstood because she's, you know, a little bit aggressive and she's yes. out there. She's very passionate. I wanted to bring up maybe the softer side. I went with Blake Lively. Oh, on she this works. One. Nice. America's sweetheart. I think Blake Lively would crush yeah. this. Our ratings just went up with that photo. Yeah. Twist my arm. Love it. Love it. I'm not even going to argue with you. Because she's in nature, you know, she with, with that shark. I watched that movie on a plane. It's pretty not. good. What movie? No, you pretty good. Yes, I did. The movie where Blake Lively's on a rock it. fighting for the shark. It was not pretty good. It, 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 look, the deep she blue? Good. The deep and there was blue? a shark. And the deep blue. A, no, that's the Jessica Alba, I think. It's called, like, oh, yeah, Shark right. or something. It's called Shark. It's called Blake Lively's Shark Movie. Nate, who do you got, my friend? <laughs> I'm, going, I'm just seeing what's coming up in this prompter. This show, this Stop looking at my one in the prompter, <laughs> Nate. <laughs> this is a casting <laughs> session. How dare you? I'm going with... It doesn't matter, because you were to cast the I'm movie. going with Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence, um, yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, she, she, every movie she's in, she does well, and I loved her in The Town. Oh, uh, we had the town. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I know that movie. Is she in that? By the way, then Blake Lively. I feel like Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, she's not in the town. She's not in the town. Blake Lively is in the town. Blake Lively's in the town. I messed it up. Silver, Silver Line, Line is playbook. I was so concerned hey, that the good movie. Blake well, Lively Shark movie is called the Shallows. The Shallows. The Shallows. All right, Kyle. Who do you got for Giselle? Well, look, she kills a shark in that one. Giselle would never do. She does. I watched it. This is where it gets out of. Okay, now what do you mean? Listen, I kick back. We're casting this role of Tom Brady's wife, and we're hoping this one wins the Academy Award. And um, <laughs> who better to play the role, the, the dream role, really, the role this actor was born to play, oh. Tom Brady's wife will be played by Julian Edelman. That's right, there it is. <laughs> we're probably gonna need to shave, we might need a wig, we might need some kind, but who would know better what it takes other than Giselle herself? It's the dream role. We all have, we used to be actors. They'd be like, what's your dream role? Can you tell us? And I'd be like, it'd be like, Clockwork Orange meets Top Gun or some pretentious dumb thing like that. <laughs> if you asked Edelman, would be like, look, I want to be Mrs. Brady. I think that's the role. Julian Edelman, you have my vote, and I think you also win the Academy Award. Love you got to two, two Wong Fu that up. Yeah, two you got Wong Two Wong Fu. Love Julie Newmar. Thanks for everything. Guys, this was an incredible session. We all got lunch at the Ivy after, four separate nice. valets, four separate right. Tesla. <laughs> Great seeing you. Lots Make sure to get apps. your parking validated. Exactly. Lots of apps. Who do you think should be cast in the apps. Super Bowl 51 movie? Great apps at the Ivy. Apps. Appetite. Paps, like paparazzi. Oh, the paps. paps yeah, the shutterbugs. Paps Great. and apps. Great apps. Tweet us using hashtag GMFB.